Welcome to this daily message for the Tuesday of the octave of Easter. And certainly I've been pleased by the feedback you've given me with these videos. We'll keep them going as long as uh, we are um, in this deprivation of public masses. So we're in this octave of Easter and we're rejoicing. Christ has risen from the dead. Lent is over. Holy Week's over. And yet sometimes we still need that reminder that God's with us that he doesn't abandon us, that he never leaves our side. I want to share with you some words from one of my favorite saints who's done an enormous amount of writing, uh, St. Alphonsus Liguori, in this little book called How to Converse with God. It's a beautiful little book. And chapter six is called Every Moment of Every Hour. And I'm just going to read you some snippets of this. Friends in the world have their hours of conversation together, but they also have hours of separation. Such is not the case, however, with God and with you. If you but wish, there will never be any separation from him. God will be beside you when you sleep, always keeping watch over you. He does not go away from your bedside when you rest. Rather, he continues to think of you always, so that if you awake during the night, he may speak to you by his inspirations and receive in return from you an act of love or of oblation or of thanksgiving. Even during the night, he keeps up his loving conversation with you, sometimes he even speaks to you in your sleep and makes his voice sound in your ears that you may put his wishes into execution when you awake. And again in the morning, he is there waiting to hear some acts of love and confidence from you and to treasure your waking thoughts and the work you promised to do for him during the day, as well as the sufferings you will patiently bear for his glory and love. Beautiful words. God never abandons us. He's with us every moment of every day. We speak to him often. We're never separated from conversation with him. He speaks to us always. Take some time to converse with God today. God bless you.